dive buddy Kyle and I swam out to a deeper site where there is some halophila growing, which is a seagrass. We dove down because uh, Kyle has treatments in the shallow water and the deep water, and he did a transplant, so he took some of the shallower individuals and placed them in the deep water. Took some of the deeper individuals to place them in the shallow water to see how quick they adapt to their new light environment. So we were down there checking the samples, and he was taking some PAM measurements to see how they photoacclimate. The PAM measures uh, photosynthetic capacity and photosynthetic ability. So we were, we have to do the deep samples on uh, scuba. We needed a dive partner. We dove down there, took his measurements, uh, took some pictures of the study area, and came up. And you can currently see Kyle doing the same thing in the shallows. By shallow, you can see I mean just like a foot deep. <laughs> Biomass samples for above and below ground cover. So Kyle can measure what percentage of the plant is growing above ground versus what percentage is growing below ground. So right now I'm separating the above and below ground biomass of seagrass because the seagrasses grow in sand with a stem that goes underneath the sand and then puts up leaves which are above ground. And measuring the above ground to below ground biomass allows you to get an indication of how healthy the seagrasses are.